Webster Bank has some pretty unhappy customers tonight. A recent update to their computer system created problems with debit cards and access to accounts. And Chief Political Reporter Susan Raff spoke with people having issues, got some answers on what is being done to try and make things better. I lost the ability to do online bill pay in this new platform. Juliet Cavanaugh is unhappy. Recent changes at Webster Bank have created lots of problems for her real estate company. It's absolutely affected my business. I cannot pay bills for the properties that I manage. She also can't access certain accounts and the system keeps crashing. Two weeks ago, Webster Bank updated its system. This after merging with Sterling Bank last year. Tears has been a nightmare. My issue's still not resolved. Angry customers are posting comments on Facebook. Some may start looking for a new bank. Juliet, who's been a customer for 30 years, may do that as well. The Department of Banking says it's received a dozen complaints in the past two weeks. And Webster Bank has been in daily conversation with them. We asked if this is similar to the merger with M&T Bank and Peoples. They say it's not the same volume of complaints. Nowhere what we saw with M&T. Webster Bank tells us the transition has been a success for the majority, but we are aware that certain business clients are still experiencing some issues, and we have representatives actively working to resolve them as quickly as possible. Customers, however, say they can't get much help. The trouble with the phone customer service uh, is that uh, there's a language issue. But aside from that, they're not trained in the new systems. The attorney general is looking into this. They've received some complaints as well. In fact, we found out today that in the city of Bridgeport, their payroll didn't process. If you have a complaint, it is important that you file that with the attorney general or the Department of Banking. In Middletown, Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.